Hey, hey, hey. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Kimmy Doe, aka Hoodie Doe, man. We back for another one. I hope everyone's having a great 2021. But no further ado, man. We about to hop right into this video. So apparently, Cam Newton, the NFL player, uh, he got disrespected by a high school player. Like, I guess bad. I don't know how bad it is, but from what I was reading and heard, it was pretty bad. I don't even know how this generation works nowadays. Like, what is up with these kids nowadays? All these kids got iPhones, iPads growing up. Uh, they don't never go outside no more. They're, like me personally, I feel like their brain isn't active. I don't know how this even got on to little kids, but I'm gonna just say it, this is how I feel. <laughs> but I just feel like nowadays kids don't respect their elders, like literally. I can't wait to watch this man, but Apparently Cam Newton was uh, was sponsoring a training camp. He was hosting it. He showed up to it, you know, for the kids, for the players, help them get seen, noticed, and you know, put their abilities, you know, on display. So uh, I just don't know how you can disrespect Cam. Great guy, great stand-up guy. But I don't know, man. We gonna watch it. We gonna talk about it. So no further ado, let's get into this video. You asked. You're a free agent. You're a free agent. He said you asked. You about to be poor. I'm rich. Bro, hold on. This couldn't be my son, bro. This couldn't be my son. If this was my son, disrespecting any top-notch athlete like that that didn't have to come and support you, bro, I probably would have hit him. <laughs> I probably would have knocked the dog shit out of his ass. <laughs> Bro, you can't do that, bro. You can't do that. He said, that little kid said, you're ass. You're a free agent. Like, he ain't put in his work and, like, he ain't let the world know that he made it to a Super Bowl and shit. Like, league MVP. Bro, don't disrespect this man like that. He's a millionaire. He done been through the grind. He done been through the struggles. He's trying to get you out there. That's what all of this camp shit is for. And you want to disrespect him like that? I don't even know this little kid's name, but, bro, that's not how you do things. Wow. Hold on, bro. I, I got to take that back. I got to take that back. Like I said, you ass. You're a free agent. Whoa. You're free agent. 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 You're Where's your dad? You're a free agent. Where's your dad? You're a free agent. You're a free agent. That's not even cool. Where's your dad? Where's your pop? And in that situation, and I mean in Cam's defense, you can't just snap back at him. You know what I mean? Because you're bigger than that and you're bigger than him. You know what I mean? But on some level, like, if you're in Cam's shoes, what do you do? What do you say? You know what I mean? Because, I mean, it's easy to say, oh, Cam should have uh, kept walking. You know, he shouldn't even just involve himself in that. I mean, which is true. But on some level, like, inside a man that has testosterone, we're going to come back and say something. But what do you really say and how do you really... I don't know if I am making sense, but I hope I'm making sense to y'all. But I don't know. This is just wild to me, bro. I can't believe this kid even had the audacity. Bro, he's clout chaser. That's what I call a clout chaser. That's crazy. He knew the camera was on. And the little high school player just took his opportunity and his chance. Like, he should not be allowed to play no college football anywhere. I don't give a fuck what nobody say. I don't care. That is disrespectful. No, no, ain't no disrespect. You know, if you want some attention, I'm going to give you some attention. The right way, bro. The right way. That's exactly what he's wanting. What was y'all record today, then? One and two. No, two, two, one, two, one, two, one. <laughs> what did you do? <laughs> no, I, I wasn't able to see because y'all was too. Bro, and I'm surprised that Cam Newton is still even wanting to talk to him. Like, I can tell by Cam's voice that he's really just trying to get to know the dude now since he wants attention. You feel me? Like, he's really, bro. All right, bro. What did he do, man? Does he play? He's still acting hard. He got speed. No, he's playing. He's yeah, speed. Yeah. Oh, Huh? You going to see? Nah, you ain't, don't act shy. You nah, bro. Don't <laughs> act shy. I see them right there. Yeah, I'm going to see. I don't want to see. I can see it. Oh, let me turn my brightness up. Is, is my brightness up? Yeah, there we go. Watch YouTube. Why you watch YouTube? I know you do. 
I think it's a cafeteria crotch. So this is what I just thought of. Some of y'all know, some of y'all may not know, but I used to play Division One football for Oklahoma State. So we had just got new uniforms, right? And like there was three players that was like wearing our new uniforms, right? Like they had dark visors, you know, dancing and stuff. Like we didn't know who these three players was. Like it was a team watching these three players on stage in our new uniforms that we're about to get. So come and find out, it was uh, Dan Bailey, uh, Daz Bryant, and at the time it was Brandon Whedon. They was all in the NFL and they all played for the Dallas Cowboys at that time. So they all came back and the whole team, we was hyped, we was like, oh shit, oh y'all. And you know what, as a matter of fact, let me put pictures up if I can find pictures. So yeah, like I said, it was Dan Bailey, Brandon Whedon, and Daz Bryant, they all came and man, we were so hyped, but I couldn't, imagine myself or just picture myself talking reckless to these players who who made it bro you feel me like that don't make sense to me i like i just can't picture myself saying oh uh damn bailey that's why you missed your last fucking eight uh field goals with the whoop that's brian that's why uh dallas cowboy like i just can't imagine talking down on somebody that came to support the cause for me Maybe I was just raised different. I don't know. But yeah, like I said, I can't picture myself doing no crazy shit like that. That's just me personally. And my kids would not be disrespectful like this at all. But let's finish this out. Do that shit for real though. I'm like, you read that 205? 205? 205? 205, okay, cool. I'm just like, <laughs> please don't be one dimensional. Like, like you said something to me, then I go, I'm really trying to talk to you. I'm not trying to like crack no jokes. I'm just really trying to ask a simple question. Yeah. I'm so, I, it's, it's your fault why everybody's looking, but I'm really just trying to ask a question. But you never said no, what you did. You did. Yeah, you what'd you do? You gonna see. At the end of the day, right? No, of course, because it's no disrespect. No, I, 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 get, it. I, I get that. Yeah. I get that. But I'm just a man. Right? This is the coach. I'm not a Coach, we squashed it. No, we I, get that. I was literally, I was. I, know, I, lo here. I love that. I love that. I love that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm trying to break the monotony. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just trying to talk to him. He think I'm trying to pound yeah, yeah, yeah. him. That shit crazy. I'm focusing on you. I'll get my. Thank you, sir. Congratulations. Wow. But y'all don't play no more today. Yeah. Are you good? Y'all play us next? Sorry, y'all girl, younger team dude. Play the not a younger team, but a younger guy. The 18. Y'all 18 in there. Bro, that's crazy. Yo, Viper, let's go over there. Hey, come on. I mean, at least Cam was cool enough to like, you know what I mean, talk it out with him. But that's what I'm talking about. Like, kids these days have no respect for any elders. Like, they all grew up different. We should know that this generation is different. First of all, all kids growing up now, they grow up not going outside. They're on their iPads, iPhones. Like, back when I was little, all I had was a coloring book. Imagination and ass whoopings. That's all I had. <laughs> it turned out great. <laughs> I used to stay outside. I used to find games and entertain myself outside. You know what I mean? Like nowadays kids just they're they're bred different. <laughs> they're they're raised different. I don't know, but that little kid was out of line, bro. He was mad disrespectful. I don't give a fuck what nobody say, man. And I hope he apologized to Cam Newton. Like if his parents didn't make him apologize. Those are some weak ass parents. And listen, I'm not down, I'm not talking down on no parent, but if they don't make him apologize and they're part of the problem, bro. But yeah, that's enough of this video. I hope y'all enjoyed that video, even though that was a shitty ass video and terrible on that high school player's part. But uh, hey, like I said, I hope y'all enjoyed it, man. And like I said in the past, I'm gonna start giving out post notification shout outs. So uh, this post notification shout out goes to Heather McLean, thank you for being part of my channel. Thank you for commenting, No Squad for Life. I appreciate you. And if you're new to this channel or you want a shout out, all you gotta do is three things. Subscribe, turn on your post bell notification, and comment, No Squad for Life, and I'll give you that shout out. Well, that's all I got, No Squad. I'll see y'all later. We out, peace.